Hello everybody and welcome to another Steam Next Fest video and in this one we're checking out Empire of the Ants. Uh, this one, uh, must admit, caught my eye mainly because I really, really love a game called Empires of the Undergrowth. Um, so I'm keen to look at this one and find out how it compares. Is it just meant to be a, you know, a bit of a, a, bit of a clone? Is it meant to be a, something different? Um, but um, yeah, it, it looks kind of cool. I think this one may have had a demo or I've seen this before somewhere, maybe in an early, earlier stage of development. I'm not altogether sure. Um, but yeah, it looks cool. Graphics look quite nice. So we're going to jump in and see what's what. Right, I have got the graphics turned up a little bit, so we'll see how we go. But it does look quite nice, so I'm anticipating perhaps a little bit of, uh, of issues with my rig. We'll see how we go. We are warm, humid, and sunny as we are looking to restore the first outpost in southern Bello Khan. Oh, wow. It's, uh... Okay, well, this is it already very different. We are first... No, a third person scurrying across, controlling... Just a single ant. Secure the area. Press and hold that to aim. While aiming to command. Oh wow, so we're, are we like the queen? I mean, graphically, it looks it looks quite nice. It's a lovely like ambient background effect here. It looks really nice. New entry in the bestiary, the warrior. So these are our warrior bugs, are they? So we can click on these guys. So we're commanding quite a few. Oh, look at these guys. These guys look a bit menacing with their uh, green abdomens. So these are the gunners. So how do I... Oh, it says mouse wheel, so I can select these guys, fine. And we have a, we have a sprint button. Happy come, chaps. Oh, this is kind of cool, I, I, I'm not going to lie. Being able to command your own little army legion of ants. Select your warriors and command them to attack the firebugs. Attack! No, no, not you. You stay. Attack! We can watch from afar. Oh, now they're getting involved as well. Oh, they're like, spit they're like spitty bugs. Let's get in there and have a look, shall we? Oh, they've scattered. Oh dear God! Get any get close to the enemy nest to detect it. I love how you can just traverse. Oh hello! I love how you can just traverse anything. There's an enemy nest over there. A termite nest guard. Move your gunners to the green area. Gunners over here. Warriors get involved, son. I like this. This is all right. Oh, you can use Q and E to select as well. Okay. I mean, the noise is quite ominous, isn't it? These guys are big, big boys. Look at the size of their heads. And watch the battle from here. Ants, total war. Oh my god, look, they're actually like picking them up and then launching them. Look! <laughs> they're playing shot put with the termites. Or these other ants, whatever they are. They're literally just launching them. And they scatter to the four corners. Move to the nest and press F to interact. Walk over to the legion and select F. Are these now are these now my bugs? Press F. Walk over 
to the legions to select. Aha, so this is how we like do our little little base or something. Here we go. Workers melee. So these like are these the worker bugs? The worker I see bugs, worker ants. Creates a worker legion attacked to this nest. Can gather and transport 20 food or whip, but these are lost when entering combat. Strong against gunners, but weak against warriors. Build. Give the upgrade time to build. Okay, so workers have have been built. Well, that area of the nest has been built anyway. We can hold X to use the food to speed up the process. And there they go. Look at them all. Bloody, we've got loads of them. Aim at the pine cone. And command your selected legion. So these are these are your basic bit chance. These are the worker bees. Uh, walk over to the defense section and press F. Walk over to the wood barrier upgrade and press F to build it. And and the nest gunners. Mobilizes gunner ants to serve as acid turrets defending the nest. And the wood barrier as well. There we go. So those those guys are our little defenders. The wood barrier has been built. Not necessarily sure if I'm seeing the wood barrier or is is this meant to be the wood barrier? Oh yeah, it's being built. Speed up. Oh wow, look at this. We're literally building city walls. Ah oh, yes. Nobody will nobody will be able to get at us. If your workers attack, they will be interrupted and stop gathering wood. Look, here comes all the uh, the various parts of the pine combs. What are these guys doing here? Send your legions to eliminate the enemy termites. I mean, there's an awful lot, and we're still running at fifty odd FPS. There's an awful lot of uh, of units milling about here. Oh god, a butterfly! Such an innocent, beautiful creature. But maybe of maybe of uh, maybe an enemy to the ants. I mean, it's just javelin. They're just they're just flying everywhere. Press tab to select all your legions. Send all your legions to your nest to heal them. There we go, lovely. We have more more invaders. Legions will slowly heal when outside of combat, place them close to a friendliness will increase their healing speed, okay. Are there uh, are there many? This is like some kind of like uh, this is genuinely like a total war type game, isn't it? <laughs> Just on a very odd, weird scale. Can they attack two? Well, they can attack both at the same time. That's good. You can see the little health bars above them there. The red thing that's flashing there. Warriors taking a little bit of a beating. One one unit dispersed, two units dispersed. Send them back to Bello Khan. I like the idea of like just being oh wow look at the air just 
Anyway, do we have to let them heal up for a second? Oh no, that's, oh, that's telling us how long it's going to take them for them to get there. It's interesting. And they're just watching. Look at this. This is quite the... Um, anyone ever see the uh, the mummy movie with the scarabs? <laughs> sort of what it looks like. This is terrifying army of uh, of small creatures, small insects. The warriors with the massive heads. Would not want to get bitten by one of them, would you? Come on then, chaps, in we come. It's a really cool concept. I gotta say, very, very different. Um, and I'm, I'm really happy that it's pretty, pretty different to Empires of the Undergrowth. It's a, it's a very, very different game compared to that. Please don't tell me that's the end of the demo. I really want to carry on playing. Tell you can. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We're in trouble. And we died. Right. Ants don't like water. We have to use the log here if we want to traverse the water. Speak with... Speak with 9,615th. Are you here to see our queen? Yes, I am. Follow the column of ants, the ones with the food. They will lead you to Taeyunni, our beloved queen. One hundred and three thousand six hundred and eighty-third. My city's dying. Our priority is to move as many sisters and eggs away from this place. From an expedition, dried leaves glued together with the most extraordinary resin. And this smell like an old damp piece of moss with a dash of metal. I wear it like a badge of honour. Okay, right. Into the undergrowth we go. Wow, she's a big one. Who are you? Come closer. Let me feel you. Bello Khan has sent help. Your mother, Bello K. Kayuni, be blessed. The situation here is dire. The flood is unstoppable. Help your sisters in Tayu Khan before its destruction. We've enjoyed many seasons of Tell You Car and the flood is a first. Yet it is too late for us. Investigating would be a waste of time. Okay. Do you forget water is our mortal enemy? Okay, we will we will save your your uh, your daughters, your brethren. Are we literally, is this, have we now gone into open world ant simulator now? What the fuck is this thing? Are you even an ant? I had to do a double take then with who I was speaking to then for a moment. Okay, uh, obviously I'm not necessarily doing anything for you. 
I mean, this is a very big colony, isn't it? Can we get inside this bottle? My name is 151st, you're high ranking. I'm all alone, I have passion, the passion. So he's like the guy from A Bug's Life. The one who invents everything, but is shone, is shunned, sorry, by all of the, uh, all of the colony. Two hundred and thirty thousand of one hundred and ninety sixth. We need help clearing out our action path. One is right in termite territory. So we're going to, have to go and clear out some termites. Consider it done. To war! Gather resources from a foraging point. So we've got these guys, haven't we? Can we, uh, so we've got economy, defense, information, powers, legions. Can we have workers? This already supports a legion. Okay, so do we have to increase? The fuck was that? Sounded dangerous. Oh, so we can we can upgrade various things. Activity alert, scout training, sharp antennas. It's quite deep. Like this is quite impressive. There's a lot going on here. Right, gather resources from a foraging point. Where is a foraging point? Um, I suppose first of all, what is it that we're trying to? What's over here? Something keeps flying by, and it's uh, disturbing me. So something over here. Come on, warriors. Where's the foraging point gone? Is it all these leaves here, maybe? Are they bees or something? Or wasps? They sound really fucking ominous when they go past. Oh wait, hang on, no, this is our this is our little base here, isn't it? Gunners workers. There we go. Yeah, it is. It was a wasp that was going past. Let's speed this shit up. Lovely. This, however, will require some some attacking. Workers, come and uh, prepare yourself and stand here. Go and get these firebugs. Easy pickings. They will they will flee momentarily. Oh god almighty. Even to take cover from corpses being thrown at you.
Okay, taking a little bit longer than I thought. I thought we would clear these out a bit quicker than this. When will they flee when the numbers get too thin? When morale breaks. Any moment now. Be gone with you. And away they go. Right, worker bees, you get in there. I think there's an awful lot of like just random ants that are here just for atmosphere, if you like. Send to closest nest. So will they now start? I guess they will. Build a chemical laboratory. Economy, woodyard, mushroom farm, storage expansion, chemical. Uh, okay, so we need unlocks the upgrades of superior tier. This upgrade can only be built once. We need 80 food in order for this to work. And they are bringing back food pretty quickly. And there we go, we'll get that on the go. Not sure what that red symbol is there. What is that red? I don't know what that red symbol means. Build or upgrade four legions to tier two. It's kind of annoying when you move too far away, it, it disappears. Creates an elite worker legion. Right, let's wait for... Or is it done? Uh, no, it is... It is done now, though. Chemical laboratory built. Build or upgrade four legions to tier two. So you got, oh, there you go. So veteran is tier two, these tier three of it. Right, okay, I get it. So you can't upgrade existing. Oh, you can, here you go. So we need 40 food. I can actually send them there to upgrade. Like so. So the workers are destroyed. Can't speed this up because we now need a lot more food. Oh shit. We now need a lot more food and we don't have any workers left. Um We need more we need some somewhere else to forage. Okay, I'm gonna start attacking that while we uh while we go looking for more food. That's gotta be worse than food, isn't it? Yes. We are, it does look like we're getting a very slow, passive income of food, though. The wasps flying past sound so ominous, don't they? So that really low, bassy hum as they go past. Was this a good idea?
This may not have been a good idea. We seem to be losing units quicker than they are. Retreat! Warriors are destroyed. We'll upgrade the warriors. Right, let's hope these workers, when they get here, will just go straight past this nest. They won't they won't engage, even if they walk very, very close to them. And see the other oh they hide. Okay, they go they run away and hide as soon as they see other other ants coming. Okay. A lot of them, isn't there? A random pair doesn't stand a chance. Right, if we can do all that, I reckon we can um, we can get one or two more legions of of, uh, of stuff. Is it an unlimited supply of food? It doesn't have a number of value attached to it. Right, defense. Let's, should, we build, should we build ourselves a wood barrier? That's probably not the worst idea. Nest gunners. And then legions-wise. So once, which ones does it want? Build a superior predator legion. That one. 50 food and three... Three square? What does the square mean? Not sure what that means. Right, my worker ants are just making it back to the nest by the look of it, so they'll start depositing the food in. Economy. That would be kind of cool. Mushroom fast storage expansion, salvage, nursery. This is all region. Okay, no. Aha, increases the number of maximum legions. Requires a higher technological tier. Come with me, level two warrior ants. We're going to have another go at attacking these guys. It's a shame I can't get involved in the attacking. I'm literally just the uh, the commander who stands at the back of a battlefield and just barks orders out and watches his people do all the fighting and dying. Right. We've come back. We're stronger. We're up for the fight. Okay, our health is going down seemingly slower. Theirs looks like it's going down quicker. So we should win this one. As we as we launch them all. There's lots of home runs being scored here. Alright, there we go. Nest has been captured. So we interact with this. We have legions. Doors Beetles Super Predator. So we get those guys from there. Okay, I think that's how it works. I think you can only have one Legion per nest. Uh, we'll have some veteran nest guards. We need a wood barrier. But we are, I think, we are getting wood a little quicker. But also now that food's going to come in a lot quicker because in theory those worker ones can drop the food off here, can't they? Because we share the resources amongst the colony. These look, these look big time, these guys. I'm not going to be able to build them all now, am I? Oh, I can't. Oh my god, look at them. 
There's like rhinos. Wow. Okay. I want to go and attack something. I'm just going to put it out there. This is really fucking cool, this game. Um, not sure we need a wood barrier, actually, really. We've got the veteran nest guards. Maybe we could uh, do something else here. Do we have a uh, get a mushroom farm going? Where's the mushroom farm? Build that. And we'll take the storage expansion on this one. So I guess you're just... You're you're doing different things with each nest. Okay, I think I kind of understand this now. You're doing different things with each nest. We're on tier two out of tier three. So I don't know how the tiers are worked out. Let me just go back. What we got over here? So this is this is home base. We have four squares of stuff we can do over here. Decreases all legions food recovery cost if we can get a hundred things. So we should probably build Let's build another wood yard Calls reinforcements to slightly heal depleted legions It, this stuff over here so okay so that's a tip that's tier two you can see the little circles on the outside there we're learning we're learning there's two circles on the outside not enough chambers available so we now don't have enough chambers available to do that which is kind of an irritating could do rage pheromones it says it requires a higher technological tier Right, there's an extra, there's a question mark over here. Is this another another nest? It is indeed, and there's food over here as well. I really can't wait to see these boys in action. I'm, I'm almost tempted to leave these guys here for a second and let them join the fight afterwards. I want to see these these big boys. Look at the rhinos incoming. Even sounds like a proper horde. <laughs> They're literally charging. They're not taking any damage either. I right, got in warrior, but it was warrior and you get in there and help out as well. Let's make this quick and swift. It's a massacre. Uh, right, legions. So what, did, what is it we want? That's a, some kind of support legion, wasn't it? Build a support legion. So these guys. Economy. Mushroom farm. A storage expansion as well. We're even closer now. They can bring all the food here. And now I can't see anything. Go and get them, chaps. I can give you rage pheromones as well.
These doll beetles are absolutely brutal, aren't they? The door beetles do nothing, but they can make a very horrendous sound as well, don't they? But they do nothing other than uh, just destroy. They are there for destruction and no other reason. Make light work of them. The, the amount of wood that you seem to need for this is quite, quite mad. We're going to get the storage expansion as well. Uh, legions. Can't have more than one. Have we got a support unit? Oh, we did. We got it over the other side. I completely forgot about it. Uh, right, we don't have a legion here. Let's get ourselves another legion of... We haven't got any gunners, have we? Should we get those guys? Oh, wait, that's what all those little green things were. Right, finally destroy the termite headquarters. So just to remind myself. Reinforce friendly troops in close proximity, working against all types of enemies. So they're literally just there to... Uh... Okay, yeah, it makes sense. Right, so we have workers. Those guys. Look at my army. Right, let me let me go and scout. The termites are in sight. Are they trying to build walls? Did I just see that? Oh, they are. Get in there. Over the top, lads. So they got level two gunners. I don't know what the cartographer thing does. I think that's an upgrade of some description. Frenzy. Good job, everybody. Is that it? Wow, this is a this is a big nest we've just uh, we've uncovered here. Can we finally do level three stuff? Is that is that what we've been waiting for all this time? Because now we've got where's level three? No, it's uh, kind of annoying. Uh, right, I don't think we need really anything else, do we, at this point? We'll leave that alone. In we go, chaps. I just, <laughs> I just love watching them all kind of go in, this swarm.
Just level two warriors and a mushroom farmer. This one. This is a small nest. This is. Look at there's just bits, bodies flying everywhere. Easy win this one. I suspect there's going to be a big fight towards the end. This is all too straightforward at the moment, surely. Who are these guys? Enemy forces. And frenzy. And reinforcements as well. Yeah, now now this is a battle. Okay, one load has disappeared. They're the workers that are getting a, a pasting over there. So work is done as well. Good job, everybody. Now let our little aphids now do some uh, replenishing. I think we're all good, really, though. It's only the warriors that need replenishing, and they are almost there already. Move in. Oh, it's only workers. That's we're going to make very light work of that. Oh, get out of the water. The main one's going to be over there. I can see it from here. Look, you can see the uh, the wood barrier. What nest is under attack? These are workers. Workers, aren't they? I mean, they're never going to... Uh, they're never going to do anything to this nest, are they? Here come the workers. It's a bit late, chaps. Don't go in the water. I know you're bigger, boys. That wasp is just hovering there. Watching the destruction, watching the chaos going on below him. Yeah, that nest is going to be fine. They're not going to capture that. We do have a little counter-attack coming, though. Right. Form the front lines. Let's uh, build ourselves a wall. Veteran nest guards. Do we? Uh, we haven't really got anything else to add here at the moment, so I'm wondering. If, oh, we can't control any more legions. Okay, so this is as many as we can have. It's not even going to finish because we need so much wood for that to happen. Right. I will go and scout. Here we go, then. Just two warriors. Hey, they've got veteran nest gunners and a wood barrier. This one is not going to be an easy fight, this one. Locked in melee combat. Oh, God, there's a... Okay, 
Those guys are getting minced, that's fine. Are these the level 2 warriors that have just come out of their base to come and attack me? I think they are. So that's that done. Now they can come over here and start attacking over here. These these beetles are like they're not taking any damage at all. These guys are absolute brutes, aren't they? I mean, it's uh, it's one way traffic here. And now then, for the final for the final push. Full frenzied mode. Take some reinforcements as well. The wood barrier is going to take some uh, some destroying. Is there a health bar for the barrier? I mean, that's the the guys that come out to fight, so they're dead. There was some kind of pheromone there that I think pushed us away. Now we're all straight back in the fight again. What's the little two down red arrows? I'm not entirely sure what that means. Is that morale? Something to do with... I'm not sure what's happening. Is there some kind of... Um, something they're using which is just momentarily causing panic among the ranks. We have another one of these. We have another one of those. We get two charges. We've almost killed off that unit. Okay, good. Is there any warriors left? I'm not even sure. There's another unit of warriors. They just don't seem to... Uh, they don't seem to disappear. We're doing a really good job of just continually taking them out. How many more times must we take them out? I don't want the Yafids in combat, please. Oh shit, they we're being attacked from behind, that's why. No, my aphids are going to die. No. Bring them back from the dead. And they're miles away now because they're all the way back over there, aren't they? This is quite the battle, this. I don't know what is needed to... Um, because they're still building. They just built a storage expansion. What is required here? I mean, I'm almost at the point where I feel like we need to... Uh, it's got another 46 seconds before I can call that in. How many more times have we got to kill these warriors? How do we destroy the um, the wood barrier? Because it just feels like we can't, we cannot get at them at all. Are we now finally making inroads on the wood barrier? We are. Okay, the wood barrier is coming down finally. There's no, uh, there's no health bar that I can see. Or oh, is there? Is that out of? Oh yes, yes, you can see. There's a little, um, yes. The inner dash, dashed lines are coming down. My aphids are nearly here. 
I can do that with everybody. And we are almost there. I'll give him a frenzy to go a bit mad for the last bit. Bosh, there we go. Victory! Well, I'll tell you what, that is definitely going on my wish list. That was a lot of fun. That is a... It's not often these days in the world of video games with just how many games there are out there and how many, how many clones of different games that you see. It's not often that you come up with a game, or you find a game, sorry, that is so unique and so different to anything else that's on the market. I can't think of a game that's like this. I really can't. You know, and with a bit more depth, more things that you can build in your base, more different types of ants. This game is going to be absolutely... Oh my god, you can fly as as well. This game is going to be... Um, this game is going to be pretty special. I really do think that. I think this has got a massive, massive amount of potential. And it arrives on November 7th. So it's literally less than a month away. The full game includes a rich story with up to 25 hours of gameplay, three mission types, exploration, tactical strategy. You can do multiplayer, 1v1 rank ladder, custom lobbies, and three-player free-for-all ranked games. I tell you what, <clears throat> this is... Um, yeah, that's, that's, that's going to be special. I really, really do think that. Um, let me know down in the comments below what you guys think of this. I highly, highly recommend you give this a trial while you can. Um, I'm assuming the demo will be available for the rest of the next fest. Maybe beyond that, I don't know. Go and give this a try. I implore you to go and give this a try. See what you think. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. All that good stuff. And I'll see you all in the next Steam Next Fest video.